Welcome back to Wristwatch Deep Dive. Today I'll be talking about my Zodiac Super Sea Wolf White Cap. I'm not a dealer or flipper. I'm not selling the watches I cover, just highlighting watches I have in my collection. All right, so this is the Zodiac Super Sea Wolf White Cap. Reference is Z09291. Forty millimeter stainless steel case, and pull it out of the box first. Thirteen point four millimeters thick. <clears throat> Here's the watch. Here, and the white cap is really the color scheme for this Super Sea Wolf. So again, forty millimeter stainless steel case, thirteen point four millimeters thick. It's a Jubilee style stainless steel bracelet with butterfly clasp. Um, actually, one thing about this clasp that's really cool, I don't, I don't have to see it on any other watches, is there's a clasp. It has a give feature here on both sides. And I'll see if I can show it to you off my wrist. So you can see, see that there? It's pretty cool. It's like a buffer, it's like a elastic buffers. Uh, that keep a snug, comfortable fit without it like being too tight. Um, you don't have to make micro adjustments. It kind of, as you wear it, you can have it snug, but also um, not cutting off circulation. Uh, the movement, automatic movement, STP One Tech 11 in-house, uh, which is technically part of the Fossil Group uh, automatic movement. 44 hour power reserve, scratch resistant sapphire crystal, screw down crown with date complication at three o'clock position and hacking seconds. Blue super luminova on hands and indexes, white dial with white unidirectional dive bezel with cobalt blue indexes and markings on both. And that's what makes this, this watch here, the white cap. I mean, the super sea wolf has uh, quite a few color combinations, and they call this one the white cap with the, the cobalt, the white dial, and the cobalt blue uh, indexes on the dive bezel. Uh, solid case back with a zodiac crosshair emblem engraved. It's a pretty prominent uh, zodiac crosshair symbol there. And I, I acquired this watch retail from Zodiac website. All right, Zodiac is a luxury Swiss watch company founded in 1882 by Irist Kalman. And I'm gonna put these, these names on the screen because I cannot say them. Uh, the company was originally named after the founder but changed its name to Zodiac in 1908. The company started out as a watch movement manufacturer but soon began making sports watches with automatic movements. Their watches gained popularity, and in 1953, they released the dive watch model called Seawolf. This was the same year Blancpain released their 50 Fathoms, and one year before Rolex launched the Submariner. To date, the original Seawolf and its successor, the early 1970s Super Seawolf, are considered two of the most iconic commercial dive watches in the world. With a patented crown stem system and improved case back design, Super Sea Wolf are considered two of the most iconic, uh, two of the most iconic, oh, I'm sorry. With a patented crown stem system and improved case back design, Super Sea Wolf's water pressure rating increased from 200 meters to 750 meters. The 750 meter rated Super Sea Wolf was used by US Navy SEALs. In 1990, Willie Gad Monumer, formerly of TAG Hewer, purchased the Zodiac brand, but the company ended up going bankrupt in 1997. In 1998, uh, Ginnader International Inc. purchased the Zodiac inventory, including their trademarks, registrations, and other assets. In 2001, Fossil Inc. Acquired the, acquired the worldwide rights to the Zodiac brand name, and since then, they've been part of the uh, Fossil Group. All right, so why I chose this watch? Uh, I like the unique color combinations, uh, the white dial with that cobalt blue. Uh, I like the history of the brand, and I really like the, uh, the kind of the Sea Wolf and the Super Sea Wolf story in relation to Blancpain 50 Fathoms and the and the Rolex Submariner and the history of kind of the race to make the better the best dive watch. 
All right, so we'll uh, show and talk about the box. So here's the box. I say typical box a lot. This is definitely not as cheap as like the Sortina box that I just reviewed. There's the booklet there. Um, but this part here is just cardboard, not much to it. This is a little nicer, that cushiony feel. Um, pillow's nice. And I just have the tags and my links underneath the pillow here. So, typical watch box, nothing spectacular, but not super cheap either. Put it all back together, and then we'll get to the loom shot. All right, so I would rate this as above average loom. Now what I like about this loom, I like how the uh, the dive bezel has the um, the top, the 12 o'clock position for the dive bezel uh, illuminated. I, I like how the indexes and hands are prominently illuminated. I love blue loom over green. So all three of those things kind of bring it to the above average. I also like how bright it is. It's very easy to see, very easy to read and see what time it is. Um, yeah, above average loom. Well done to Zodiac for that. Dive watches I find tend to have better loom than, uh, than a lot of the other models. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please comment on this video. Or you can email me at wristwatchdeepdive at gmail.com. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next watch.